good evening. I recognize that I am the one between you and the cocktails and the dinner tonight. So this is going to be, um, I think, fairly brief on my end, but I, I did want to come say hello and tell you a little bit more about Common Sense Society and why we are so proud uh, to be a part of what uh, Bert and Jim and everyone is doing here at the Jefferson Council. I feel like I'm really close to this. Um, so my name is Liz Stiff. I am the Chief Communications Officer at the Common Sense Society. And I want to tell you a little bit about how the Common Sense Society started because I think it will be of interest to you um, as you hear a little bit about uh, what a band of committed alumni can do. Common Sense Society was started in 2009 in Budapest, Hungary. Um, it was not started here in the US. It was started by a group of students um, at George Soros's university there in Budapest uh, that they were they were the the first um, they were the first group of students young people that had come of age after the fall of the Berlin Wall and they didn't want to talk about what they were free from they wanted to talk about what they were free for and that empowered them on campus to have some really helpful discussions and conversations. And so they started debating on campus. And they started debating some of the ideas that were controversial on campus. And as you can imagine, they got kicked off campus. So uh, that didn't stop them. They pulled a couple of park benches together and a couple of cafe tables there in, this, in the center of town. And they continued to host those debates. Except now, it wasn't just students that were joining them, it was leaders in the community that were joining them. And that is how the Common Sense Society was formed. It was formed by our, our current CEO and President, Marion Smith, who unfortunately is not able to be with us here this evening. Um, but what his story about the origin of Common Sense Society tells us is that these students made a difference on campus and healthy campuses don't exist in a vacuum. They exist in communities, in cities, in towns, um, and what happens on that campus can impact the, the communities that they're in. Um, Marion went on to start the Common Sense Society. He came back to the US, um, and the Common Sense Society continued to grow. So fast forward to today. I'm not going to give you the full, the full decade history. Um, but fast forward to today, and we are located. We have national branches in Hungary, in the Netherlands, in the UK here in the US and Canada with, with other branches starting soon. Um, originally, we were a, a very small kind of networked group of individuals that believed in these ideas of liberty, prosperity, and beauty. And we wanted, we wanted to change our communities. And what happened was that continued to spread. And so um, fast forward to today, and um, we have been able to partner with the Jefferson Council uh, on some really interesting ideas. We've, we've been able to join them this year to bring Douglas Murray here to campus. We've been able to work with some of the other AFSA chapters to bring Douglas Murray to some other campuses. And what we began to see when, when Douglas was on these college campuses talking about these ideas of liberty, prosperity, and beauty with students um, is that they were, they were eager to hear a different perspective than they were hearing on campus. That's not news to you guys. That's why you're all here this evening, because you believe in the, the free expression of ideas. Um, but what, what is unique is that as we were on campus, we began to see that the, the problem isn't just on campus, it's in communities as a whole. And you know that, you're experiencing it. These woke ideas don't just stay on college campuses. They've spread to businesses, they've spread to the corporate world, they've spread to our museums, they've spread to all of our institutions. And so what we're trying to do at the Common Sense Society is not just focus on college campuses, but really focus on the leaders in each of the communities where we're engaged to say, hey, you know your community better than we do. How can we help you? How can we partner with you? How can we connect you to the resources that you need, to the high profile speakers that you need, to the organizations that you need to continue to make a difference at the local level? Uh, and that's why we're, we're so proud to, to be here tonight, to be partnering with the Jefferson Council, to be working with you guys to figure out how we can get more speakers on campus, uh, to be looking to, to start other initiatives, in South Carolina, in Virginia, we've we've done some things with with John Reed in Central Richmond or Central Virginia, um, 
but we're continuing to produce uh, resources, programs, uh, materials that people need in their local community to continue to engage, to have these conversations at a public level, um, and to, to really bring change, whether it's in cities like Richmond, Virginia, whether it's at universities like UVA or UNC. Um, we, we are excited about continuing to partner with AFSA and with the Jefferson Council to, to celebrate liberty, prosperity, and beauty and the rich heritage that we have in, in Western civilization. So thank you.